So here we are again. It's the match preview for the Reggae Girls against Paraguay. This time from the National Stadium in Kingston. You are there with us at the Montego Bay Sports Complex in Catherine Hall, St. James. And now it's over to Kingston. Yeah, we're back in Kingston now. It was quite a long journey. Had some rain as well, but all is well. So before we get into this match and the preview for it, let's recap the first encounter against Paraguay, where the Reggae Girls 1-0, one by one goal to nil, courtesy of a goal from Alison Swaby in second half stoppage time. So the Paraguayan team and the way how they defend, they are extremely compact and very narrow. And as a result of that, that will create opportunities out wide for the Jamaican team. Now, out wide, the Jamaicans were able to use their width with Paige Bailey Gale on one side, as we saw in the first half, Tiffany Cameron in the second. Rachel Jones, an impressive debut from her. Extremely impressive from her. She's showing the same quality that we've seen from her in college and also from our days playing for the United States at under 17 and under 20 level as well. So it didn't come as a surprise to me in terms of her performance. What I would say though is to hit the ground running, your first game for Jamaica, you go on the field and bam, you just make everybody know exactly who you are. From the first moment she touched the ball, she was assured, she was confident. It, it almost reminds me of what Mia Mitchell did for Jamaica's under 20s against Guatemala at the CONCACAF Under-20 Women's Championship earlier this year, or the performance that Kiki Van Zanten gave against Bermuda in February 2022 in the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup Qualifiers at the National Stadium. Performances on their debut that were assured, that were confident, full of life, vigor. So Rachel had a really good impression, and Lauren Donaldson certainly gave some good views where that was concerned. So now that we have established that factor in proceedings, the chances for the Jamaican team, they created quite a, bit, a lot. Drew Spence had her opportunities, Khadija Bunny Shaw as well, Tiffany Cameron as well, amongst other players on the pitch. On another day, the match could have ended 3 or 4 nil, But I'm very happy with a match of this nature. Why? Because it was a match that demanded us to be patient where you weren't going to break down a team in 10, 15, 20 minutes. It demanded us to have that build up from the back. And it allowed us this opportunity. And Lauren Donaldson didn't panic or anything. He made the changes. Khadija Bunnishaw came off. Jamaica scored. And it, it felt like a goal was coming. Never for one moment did I think that the game was going to end nil all. I always felt a goal was coming because we Jamaica were knocking at the door and chipping, 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 chipping away. So, who should play for the Jamaicans coming up? Well, what I'll say is that in relation to Paraguay, Jamaica ranked 43rd in the world. Paraguay, 51. Now, if you look at the way that we lined up against Paraguay in the opening game on Thursday, it was quite intelligent because you had Denisha Blackwood, Tierney Wiltshire, Satara Mori, and Alison Swaby. Now, Vian Sampson, it was so clever because when Jamaica was not in possession, it looked like a back five. And when Jamaica were in possession, there was an extra person in midfield. So it was quite congested for the opposition if they were trying to neutralize us. So it was quite clever to have Fly and Samson in this sort of role. Extremely clever. And that is why I think she's going to be such an asset moving forward in this area. We also had the likes of Atlanta Primus. We also had Drew Spence, Sioban Wilson, Paige Bailey Gale, 
and Khadija Bonishaw. Of course, Rebecca Spencer was in net. My lineup for the second one. Rebecca Spencer got 45 minutes and Sydney Schneider also got 45 minutes. I think we have seen exactly what both are able to do. I want, I'm going to go with Rebecca again from the start. I know Leah Brooks is also there as well. And who knows? She might get 10, 15 minutes, but we'll see. Left back. Going to go with Denisha Blackwood. Right back. Wiltshire, Tierney Wiltshire. I'm going to give Chantal Swaby a game. Now, Allison looked hurt after scoring the goal. We don't want to risk players. I mean, she did walk off the field quite fine, but these are what friendlies are for. Friendly matches are there for the Jamaican team to look at individuals, to see where we are at, and move from it, right? But if Alison is, is 100%, then she plays there as well. Now, in the middle, I'm going to go with Chiniel Asho. I'm going to go with Havana Salon. And Drew Spence. From three, Jody Brown will be available for selection. Give Tiff, I'm going to give Tiffany Cameron a start. And Khadija Bonishaw. I don't think the Paraguayan team are going to be as compact as they were. The National Stadium, as we know, is a different sort of surface compared to the Montego Bay Sports Complex. And there will be a little bit more width to operate with. And that is something that the Jamaican team will be looking to exploit on. And I personally feel that there will be avenues for us to do so. And I expect a few more goals than what we saw on Thursday. Now, this is the 11 that I personally would go with, but don't be surprised if you see Akela McCoy here or Chena Matthews. So that's something that we can be wary of and look out for. My prediction for the game, Jamaica 3, Paraguay nil. Jamaican football fans, what are your thoughts? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What is your prediction? Well, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.